Hello and welcome back. Uh, in this video I'm going to start a series on uh, A, why I've had you download Sublime Text for this course and why it's so awesome. Uh, if you've already downloaded and installed Sublime Text, one of the things that makes Sublime so great is that it's uh, very extensible. There's a lot of extensions out there for it, similar to the way Firefox add-ons and Chrome uh, browser extensions make those web browsers so much more powerful, Sublime Text works the exact same way. And what I've done in Blackboard, I have this uh, a link to this page for you, but by default it's kind of difficult to get in packages installed. So there's a, a package called Package Control that makes it a lot easier. And uh, from here you just need to, depending on the version of Sublime Text you have, I'm using two, uh, we just need to copy this bit of text here and you can see what you need to do is put it in the console. And by default you might not have the console shown. It's down here in the bottom so all we do is paste into there and hit return. It'll tell you please restart to finish the installation. Close it out open it back up. What this does as you can see under preferences now we have something called package control and this allows us to from within the application browse the many packages. Uh, you can find them online and you can see how they work um, but you can install them from directly within the application in itself and uh, there are a right many. You can also gain access to the package control using a keyboard shortcut through the command palette. Uh, you can see that it'll be different between Mac and PC, but the, if you open that up, there are many, many, many different things that the command palette allows you to do, but you can just type package and it'll filter out, again, another awesome piece of Sublime Text is this is the power of the command palette. If you want to install a package you can just go back and then we can pick some to install. 